You know, Zaga Zaga, I've been wondering, man, there's so many features on Instagram. Which one is your favorite feature? I mean, favorite feature? Um, I mean, the one you like the most. I don't know. I kind of, I, I, I like Explore. I mean, I think it's a, it's a pretty neat dynamic to, to just like have Instagram surface interesting stuff to you. Um, you know, we're kind of going in that direction with Reels too. I think that'll be quite good. So um, you like the Explorer? Yeah. And, and now I see this, this small button here to mute the audio. Why did you implement this and what, what is the future like? Yeah, the thing that I'm really excited about that is, is by the time, I mean, as part of the audio tools that we're building, um, you know, some of the stuff that we're going to work on is, is, you know, trying to take audio, even if it's lower quality from a phone, and, um, and, and basically upsample it to make it better. And, you know, I know that there's a bunch of teams and folks who are working on technology to segment kind of background noise from your voice and, and foreground. So hopefully in the future, you won't even have to mute on that. Mm -hmm. So great. Now let's talk about the, 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 the pros and cons for the chronological vision of Instagram, because I don't like to block people. I'd rather just restrict them. So how is this thing going to help the creator's economy? Yeah, I mean, I think that there's there's obviously pros and cons with it. And, and you know, we, we want to make sure that people have the option to, to, to use that. So, I mean, that's something that we that we think about. But you know, the, the biggest problem is, you know, just like you were talking about how you don't want to block people, you want to restrict them. The There's sort of a, a loss aversion that I think most people feel where, you know, if you go into chronological mode, you're sort of giving this incentive to a lot of um, accounts to just spam a lot, right? And to post a, a lot of content. And and then you're kind of putting this decision on most people where they either have to decide, I'm going to unfollow this thing completely, um, or I'm going to deal with the fact that that uh, that I'm, I'm getting a higher volume of stuff. And, you know, people have the loss aversion that um, that you're talking about where, you know, they don't, they don't necessarily want to um, I guess the dynamic that you're talking about with plausible den deniability is different from loss aversion, but just like people don't want to go all the way to blocking someone all the time. Um, and a lot of time they don't want to unfollow someone because they feel like they might miss something that's good. So what we've found is that it ends up um, being a, a net worse experience, but, um, but there are certainly issues. I mean, I, I think the predictability uh, that you're talking about is, is certainly something that's really important. And, and, and look, I mean, if we're talking about helping to, um, you know, support a creator economy where millions of people can can have jobs doing creative work. You know, part of supporting that is having the whole thing be a little more stable, right? It's like you can't have it so that you know you're you're it's so spiky. You know how how things perform and and, and the the money that you're making. And you know, obviously, some content is going to be better than others, and you also want good things to be able to to kind of perform better and and, and make more money. But um, but I do think just making sure that the system feels transparent. It has enough stability is just going to be an incredibly important part of um, of supporting the creator economy overall. Yeah, because I'm asking this because I have two accounts. I have Instagram account, No Chilling Mzansi. It focuses on memes and I have No Chill God, which focuses on videos. So it's always good to know. Um, all right, I got a question for you, though, while, while, while you're here. What's it going to take to, to keep the memes coming? Though? What about the memes? Keeping them coming. You want the memes? Yeah, well, well no, you know, it's like, I mean, we were talking about how we're moving from, from memes to video. I'm just like, I, I just want to... No, I mean, I think, Zaka Zaka, you know, you must understand that these things are coming and they're going. You have to involve with time. Memes were there, now it's videos, they're doing the most. So, well, I think we're going to wrap up overall, but, but this, is, this is good. All right, good seeing you. No, it was nice having me, man. <laughs>